Hello all, welcome. <laughs> Bloopers, okay. Hello all, welcome to my channel, Ready R Tarot. I am your girl, highly in tune, and I welcome you all to my space. Please be aware there will be trigger moments. Everything will not resonate, so take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever else, okay? And also, flip and switch the situation however it pertains to you and your life. He could be a she, she could be a he, and vice, various, and vice versa in other areas. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're feeling my vibe, you guys, hit that like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate you guys for supporting me. Thank you for coming back and loving me. Even though y'all might not love me, but <laughs> say no. <laughs> But yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's the Saturday. Um, I got my little deck out, y'all. And I added some more cards, okay? I used some black um, black marker, okay? So we about to get into it and see the messages here for Taurus today about what's going on in Taurus's love life. What do Taurus need to be aware of? What is going on? And Taurus love life. And what does Taurus need to be aware of? Okay. Taurus, I hope y'all is doing well. Uh, yeah. Dang, y'all ain't do my thing before I started. I can't even see the candles or nothing. Mm, yeah, candles burning, fire lit up. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, Spirit God, Angels, and Ancestors, what is the messages here for Taurus today? What do Taurus need to know, okay? Let's see, Taurus. What's the good message? I already shuffled them up, but I'm extra shuffling them. Now, y'all in the building. Yeah, everybody. Yep, that's yep, mm -hmm, All them people. Yep, them. Yep, them too. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get it started, y'all. <laughs> God, I done put some stuff up in here, okay? Look at that Leo. Leo love hanging around, huh? All right. So let's see the message that Spirit has for you guys today. What is the message for Taurus, Spirit? Let's see. Oh, somebody's going through a karmic cycle. Okay. Don't go back. So something was a karmic cycle. Um... Uh, you know, it was a lesson that, that you had to learn somewhere, okay? It was a continuous karmic cycle. And um, I feel like the vine saying that they being sincere with you. <laughs> Don't go back. Or somebody could have been dealing with someone that they were in a karmic cycle with, okay? Dealing with karmic lessons and things like that. And they don't want to go back. And they feel like they, they being sincere, like, no, that was a lesson that I don't want to learn no more. I don't go back. I'm not going back. I'm sincere. I don't tell you, but I have deep, deep feelings for you. Okay. A better understanding it will help this relationship. <clears throat> so y'all need to get some, remember the differences between y'all. Uh, so y'all need to, you know, have a better understanding with each other to help this relationship out. I'm financially struggling and need your help. <clears throat> okay, so somebody could have been dealing with a karmic cycle. Okay, dealing with somebody that's in it that, you know, and they don't want to go back. And they sincere than a motherfucker about this shit, Taurus. They got deep feelings for you. Karma's a bitch not laying your mess. So they've been laying in their mess. Yeah, with these karmic ties. They, they tied to somebody. So they dealing with karma. In this karmic situation. Still in love with the third party. So. That's why they got to sit here and deal with their karma. Because they still caught, have these karmic ties with this third party. Because they're still in love with them. They have not let them go. Now they want to start over. Can we start over? Turning around and coming back. So now. <laughs> they want to start over. They want to. They still haven't learned though. They want to come back. 
Taurus, okay, this person is, is in a karmic cycle, all right? They don't want to go back and they mean this shit, okay? So I guess when they done with this cycle or whatever they going through, they are sincere about not even wanting to go back. They don't even tell you how they feel, but they have deep, deep feelings for you. Y'all need a better understanding of this situation. They could be struggling financially, dealing with their karma because they're karmic, because they're tied to somebody that they have a karmic tie with, and they were still in, they were still in love with the star party, but now they want to start over you, because they turning around coming back, but they still haven't learned their lesson. <laughs> so what? Look, don't be a fool. Follow your intuition. Okay, so don't be no fool. This person is lost and confused, or they gonna have you lost and confused. Close cycle with third party lover. So they done closed this cycle with this third party. Okay. They still haven't learned though. They still gonna be on some bullshit tours though. Don't be no fool. Follow your intuition. Okay. I logically fuck with you. I have no emotions for you. Letting go of the pain of what they did and moving on. So somebody logically fuck with somebody, they don't have no emotions. They letting go of the pain of this, you know, or what they did and moving on. This could be you. Somebody could be dealing with somebody with wigs, quick weaves, and lace fronts. What else here for Taurus? Secret lover. Somebody could have a secret lover or you could be a secret lover, Taurus. Spending time with the third party. So this is a secret lover that they're spending time with. This is a third party. So they close a cycle with one person. And they got somebody else here who they logically fuck with. You know, and they're, I feel like they letting go of the pain of what this other person did and moving on. Whoever this other person is, they can have quick weaves, wigs, and lace fronts. But then over here we got this secret lover, third party that they spending time with. Spirit say blessings are coming in. What else we need to know about this secret lover that they spending time with? Alright. They lost their spiritual gifts. Dealing with this person, this secret lover that they spending their time with, this third party. They lost their spiritual gifts. Look, their life is falling apart. Okay. I understand your trauma. Let's trauma bond. Okay, there's somebody you could have been trauma bonding with or they could have been trauma bonding with someone. And somebody burned their bridges here. Somebody could be bald-headed. Your person have karmic friends and wants to cut ties. They're learning lessons. This could be a Virgo. Okay. What else, Spirit for Taurus? Yeah, they like life falling apart. Look, they struggling. Okay. Tour, there could be unexpected income coming. Because you, you could feel stuck right now, but there is some money coming in. You feel like somebody was manipulating you. Somebody with some dreads or braids. Yeah, but there's some unexpected money coming in. You, you feel like somebody was manipulating you. Tricking you or something. Okay, well, we just gonna leave it here. Yeah, unexpected income is coming in. Cause you, you feel like you were stuck. You feel like you were stuck. You feel like somebody was manipulating you. Somebody with dreads. Okay? They talk about you, but they're all lies. Karma will be served. I thought the grass was greener on the other side, but your separation is showing otherwise. Cycle is closing with the third party. So now they're closing the cycle with this other third party. Okay. So there's two cycles that's closing. So this cycle's closed. And this cycle is closing. So they haven't officially closed the cycle with this secret lover here. 
but they closed the cycle with somebody else that they were dealing with. I do sleep around, but nothing serious. Interaction with third party, other people, places, and things. Karmic lover has no money or no job. Okay, so they living off of your person. Turn their back on you, divine masculine. So somebody turned their back on a divine masculine. And they turned their back on a divine feminine as well. So. And there's a caution sign. They turn their back on a divine feminine and they turn their back on a divine masculine. So this is talking about both sexes, the male and the female, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Okay. Okay, there could be a Jezebel male. Spirit is here to protect you. You are loyal. Tables are turning because somebody was an evil witch. Karmic friends, that's full of drama. Walk away. You will never understand the pain I feel when you're away from me. I need you. Now they feel like they need you, Taurus. <clears throat> okay. That kind of bigger and heavier. Today, I'm add more cards. All right. So, spirits say, don't go back. You're a very loving and caring person. You may be on a higher level than your person. They still have lessons to learn. Deal with it or move on. Free will. Red flags. Pay attention. Spirits say, keep quiet. I'm a cheater. I have many options. All right. So, what else is here? Sheesh. I want to be with you. But my mind is not sure. Why do I yarn every time I come on here? I think that's just some type of reaction. Give it another chance. So they want you to give them another chance. Go away and leave me alone. Hidden secrets. So somebody just want to be left alone. This could be your hidden secret or theirs. Time's up. Okay, so somebody is definitely running out of time. Living in the moment. That's why they time's up. We're running out of time. They're living in the moment. They ain't trying to change nothing. They daydreaming too damn much. I'm addicted to your sex. Walking in your purpose. Following God and your spirit team. Why are you playing games? Thinking, wanting, and needing answers. Closing a cycle with third party friends. Your person is trying to find their way back to you. No one compares to you. Oh shit, that shit scared the shit out of me. Hold on, y'all. Alright, Taurus. Yes. Crazy, right? Spirit and What's the message here for Taurus? Hidden secrets. What's the hidden secret here for Taurus? Hearts hidden secrets. What is the hidden secrets? Separation, space, and blockage. Somebody is um, shocked. Something was unexpected. Oh Lord, only you, you're their reception, you're, you're their obsession, Taurus. Jeez. What's the hidden secret here for Taurus? Elusive dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Here we go with the bullshit. Right off top on a train track, okay? So somebody is elusive, they're lying to you. They're trying to trick you. This person is hot and cold. They got multiple choices and people that they're bonding with, confiding with, 
sexual, sensual with. This is divine masculine. He's realized, he's having a realization, an understanding, an awakening. Because if you frozen, no words, stonewall, waiting, he's waiting on the divine feminine and longing for her while he's in, in separation. But there's some illusions, some dishonesty, some trickery, some who else is going to be, depletion, drain, long journey, sorrow, loss, grief, depression, family, fertility, and pregnancy. They feel like they lost their family. Somebody is hoping and wishing and trying to manifest you. Trying to manifest this karmic lesson. Uh, anyway, Taurus, let's finish. What else for Taurus? Beauty. They're trying to drain you. Exhausted. Dishonesty. This person is being dishonest to you. They're trying to drain you. They're trying to drain you from because you're such a beautiful person. They're trying to take from you. You're better off blocking your emotions. This person got attachment third parties. Soulmate, a third party soulmate. This person chases thrills, nourish in the reverse. So they're not healing. Anyway, yeah, so there's some deception here, Taurus. Somebody part trying to play with your head. And they trying to drain you because you're so kind-hearted. You're very sweet. You always be doing stuff for this person. They're trying to take everything you got. And they coming towards you with a hell of a damn story. A hell of a lie. A hell of a lie. They're trying to play with your head. What's this elusive for Taurus? Whatever this deception is, somebody's going to confess about it. Something going to come out. You're resisting somebody. You're withdrawn. And you doing this, making this person, you know, want to return. But it's so many illusions and cloudy judgment. Somebody's definitely holding on and clinging to you. What's this elusive with this hidden secret? Yeah, you getting clarity of this. Awareness, importance, and value, depth. So they're going to come clean about these lies or something. Dishonesty, deception, unveiling. You're going to see this. You're going to see the truth about this. You're going to be aware. This person wants to tell you that they want a commitment with you, but they got clouded judgment. They don't know what the fuck they want. But they want you to forgive them because you've been withdrawn. Give me one more for dishonesty. For Taurus. Dishonesty. Deception. Elusive. Elusive. Yeah, you're going to see the truth that this person was pretending and wearing a mask. They was exaggerating. They making shit up. 
about something. Somebody's trapped inside of some type of fucking fantasy. Always imagining stuff. Never make one to be real. Playing too many games. Shattered. Broken heart. And this person broke your heart and you released them. What's this um pretending wearing a mask? What is this hidden that Taurus is not seeing? That somebody's sinking in despair and they falling apart. And you're going to find out the truth that they fucked up out here. Mm-hmm. They feel hopeless and in despair. They falling apart. Good gracious. <laughs> they going through it, Taurus. Yeah. Oh, goobity. Woo-woo. That's what they get. Shit. I don't know. Exhaustion. Why is exhausting here for tours? With two cards, alright? Yeah, <laughs> final straw. Consequences, cause of effect, debt. Somebody going through some karma. Breaking point, final straw, overwhelmed. You being at your breaking point is this person's karma. And it's stressing them the fuck out. It's draining the shit out of them. They over here hopeless and shit, crying. Okay? You distant from this person. You resisting yourself from them. Okay? And this is making them long for you because they feel like it's over. Shit. All they could do is think about you, wanting you to return, trying to manifest you back through memories. Divine Feminine has withdrawn. Divine Feminine has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much conflict and you just wanted some type of peace. You wanted peace in your life. It was too many mistakes mis uh, being had. Misunderstood. Victim. Lost soul. And now you're trying to, um, trying to get yourself back together. Shit, this person had you fucked up. You learning from these mistakes. And now you growing from them. You know what I'm saying? Seeds of growth. You learning. Shit. You know what I'm saying? You knew this person was your soulmate and you gave them your loyalty. You know what I'm saying? You was loyal to this motherfucker because you knew who they was. You knew that it was time to make changes because you knew they was your soulmate, your twin flame or whatever. One more for the fish in the drain. This person is at a breaking point. They have it. They going through it. Bitter as hell. Resentful anger and hurtful words. They getting karma for that. Because them being bitter to you, resenting you, being angry towards you, saying hurtful things to you, rejecting you. Yeah, so you reject me, so I release you. The hell? Letting go. This person abandoned you, you know? They dismissed. They, they did some bullshit out of fear. Beauty, charming, great, kind-hearted. Yeah, you over here beautiful, graceful, kind to this person, doing whatever for this mother. And they gonna do this to you. Oh, they need they butt kick. Beauty. Attachment, third parties, and peers. So you influence a lot of people. You met people are attached to you. They're attracted to your energy. Oh, wait a minute. So you were kind hearted to this person. And they had other influences. And they're leaving them behind. They were chasing thrills and excitement, a good time. Yeah, you were kind hearted to this person. You was beautiful to this person. And they were attached to third parties. And you ended it because this person was chasing thrills. Now you silent. You silent towards the divine masculine. Look how you looking at the card. Okay, you ready for new beginnings because this person sending you mixed signals. They not showing you who they are. They not giving you that emotion you want. You've been hoping and hoping for a commitment, but this person just kept running, you know? Now you're seeing different things from a different perspective. You're trying to open up your heart to new possibilities now because this person has stressed you out. Now it's time for you to heal and grow. Mm -hmm. It was painful, but you learn from these painful mistakes. 
It's a realization, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? You starting to see things. Now that you're realizing things and getting some type of information here, your person is thinking about you, you know? Only wanting you. Yeah, you were kind-hearted to this person or this could be you with a third party um, attachment. Ending something here with chasing thrills. What's this beauty have to do with Taurus? Oh yeah, hoping. Having faith, manifesting, hoping. Hoping for what? Hoping and healing. Expecting, having faith, releasing, purifying, and cleansing. Yeah. Their perspective about how things go in life, I feel like it was a little confusing to you. And so a lot of things that they did could have broke your heart. So you feel like you need to release and let go. It was shocking to you. It could have been shocking to this person that they were your soulmate or you were theirs. Now somebody wants to return because they feel cursed without you. Now they want to find some type of peace in this relationship. They want to be devoted to you. But this commitment, this marriage, this promise that they want to make, you don't really want it right now. This person hurt you too many times. You trying to escape this person, even though this is someone that you had a karmic life with, lesson with, and you could have continuously repeated patterns or been through a lot of things with this person throughout the life and the years. You ready to escape this situation now. You don't even want it no more. It's too much, too many conflicts. Too many conflicted errors in a situation where the decisions is always hot and cold, yes and no, maybe, now we happy, now we sad, too soon, too quick. So now you're trying to, somebody wants to try again and start all over. Hmm. Attraction, spark, passion, a tourist. Yeah, you're healing, because this person had, was attached to third party. Somebody ended something here. What's this finality have to do with Taurus? Oh yeah, they're ending something. Forgiveness. Okay, so you yeah you ended you you let this person go. You forgave this person. You returned them back from where the fuck they was at. Yeah, because this person was unstable. They was give, taking you through an emotional storm. You know, they had too many secrets. And you just wanted to um, establish a foundation, have new beginnings in a family. They just cling into intimacy. Chemistry, attraction, spark. Just for Taurus. Conflict. Chasing. So y'all are clashing there's attraction that spark that's passion here but there's i say this all the time too many differences it's just incompatibility it's too much classing clashing then somebody becomes the chaser pure toxicity resilience confusion yeah you just like fuck all this confusion shit chemistry i just want to heal yeah, silence. Yeah, waiting, just closing cycles, just taking your time, focusing on you. Yeah, but as you do this, look, they're going to come back with all that fucking pride. Oh, have mercy. Give me a chase then. Yeah, can't make no decision. Got multiple choices. So this person could be chasing you or they want you to chase them. But you're not chasing them. You're silent and you're taking your time doing what you do. And this person that wants you to chase them, they conflicted. They hot and cold. They got too many choices. 
and they and they in pain, you know, because they like taking risks. You got to watch out for this person. They caused you pain. You were loyal to this person, and they withdrawn from your fucking loyalty. Okay? Or you don't want this you don't want to be loyal to this person no more. But this person will come back with all that damn pride. For real. Like, ugh. Gone with all that pride. Alright. This is the divine timing cards. What Taurus needs to know here? When will Taurus get reconciled with their person? Okay. Six months from now. Stop rushing things. Like, it's the springtime right now. Stop rushing things. I don't know. Or something could happen in the sp springtime. Keep going with the flow of life. Refocus and stop waiting for it. And keep saying that. Okay? Sooner than you expect. Within a couple of weeks. Alright. Let's see what the top say. Release any attachment to timing. So don't worry about timing. Because if you attach yourself to timing, then things going to seem like it's moving slow, which it will start moving slow. November, um, let it happen organically. Okay? So I feel like in November is the time where you will start realizing that you need to let it happen organically. Let it happen on its own. You know? Have faith in January. Not the right time yet. Release the need to control the situation. All right. What else for Taurus? September. And February at the bottom of the deck. Things will un unfold as they are meant to. Divine timing is at play. Summertime within a couple of months. Time has been delayed. All right, Taurus. Well, that has been y'all reading. I hope y'all have a good day today. Happy birthday, y'all. All right, y'all. Peace.